Port Adelaide coach Matthew Primus's future is tonight under the most severe scrutiny after his side was embarrassed by AFL newcomers GWS this afternoon. Primus shunned the final minutes of the game, heading to the change rooms early as the power collapsed in one of the club's most pathetic displays yet. Midway through the final term with the Giants running all over the power, attention had already shifted to Matthew Primus' future. That is the hottest seat in AFL football at the moment. And this group did not come to play today, Derm, and they didn't look like they've come to play for their coach. With three minutes left, the coach had seen enough. He has gone in the rooms, cannot face what's going to happen out there. This is tragic. The alarm bells were ringing from the early minutes. GWS kicking five goals clear as Port squandered the few inside 50s they could muster. The visitors broke even in the second term and rallied in the third, but blew half a dozen gettable shots that could have earned them the lead and invaluable momentum. He walks into goal and he's missed. And his teammates throw the arm out and say, you should have passed it over the top. Port desperately needed a leader, but it was an ex and warrior providing the inspiration. Chad, Chad, he's got it! Oh, off the ground! A hamstring strain to Carlisle, adding injury to insult. While one club crumbled, another took a giant leap forward. A historic win in a historic game as Kevin Sheedy became AFL football's first thousand gamer. Tributes flowing for him, the death knell sounding for his opposite number. Pete McDonald, Nine News.